Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. So, this is not a Unity game, as far as I know. Although it could be, honestly. Um, it, it, it does seem pretty smooth. It just feels like it's doing a lot of weird stuff, so I'm not sure it is a Unity game. Um, probably not. So, problem is... It's Jankarino. You know what I mean? Um, we are on 0.15 volume. And I don't know if you, you're feeling it, but I, I feel like I'm deaf already. It's like playing an old DOS game. Which, whatever. Um, that, that's kind of kind of what the game's going for, I guess. Is this is this too loud, though? I have it turned down quite a bit for you guys. We could also bump it up to 0.4. I think that's a little loud. I think point four is a little loud, right? Maybe that's okay for you guys. I don't know. Because on my end, it's going to be a lot louder than it is for you guys. So, maybe that's fine? I don't know. I think that's probably a little loud. We'll turn it down. Someone will let me know anyway. Um, so, this game's kind of cool. You can do a 1-bit a mode or a 2-bit mode. I think 2-bit's gorgeous, so we're going to go with that. <sighs> Let's talk about a few things before we start. Number one, uh, I have technically played this game. Uh, I purchased it. Uh, I think I like pre-ordered it because I was like super excited um, uh, for something like this. And um, I was having like a super bad migraine, and Kaylin's uh, a fan of like Junjito and stuff like that as well. So she was like, oh, cool. Uh, you know, we'll try this out. And I don't remember any of it because of the migraine. Um, I remember, um, like, sort of the, the basics of the game, but we're just going to play through the tutorial anyway, just give me a brush up, because what I do remember was, um, I asked Kaylin to play because I had a migraine, and she was like, oh, this game seems, like, very complicated, and I remember actually finding it a little complicated. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. But I think it's very interesting, and I, I love mystery games, and I love, like, an X-Files kind of thing, like your Delta Green, your Call of Cthulhu. Um, I don't actually love X-Files that much, turns out, but either way. So, what is the game going for? Well, um, I should probably look into this, but to me it feels like it's trying to be like an old um, Mac Venture game. Uh, like a... Like a I remember playing some on the Apple II, stuff like um, uh, Shadow Something and Deja Vu. Uh, I really enjoyed Deja Vu. Maybe we'll play that on stream at some point. I've never beat it because I played it, you know, when I was young. But it's still it's fascinating. Uh, but the Mac Ventures, um, so named because they're a series of point-and-click adventure games on the Mac. Uh, the Again, I remember it on the Apple II, but, you know, whatever you played it on. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Those games obviously very heavily inspired by people like Junji Ito. It's a Japanese-esque horror game. Um, I, I don't know how true to actual Japanese <laughs> this stuff is here. I, I'm not sure if this is, like, more weeb or, or actual translation, but it does give it, like, sort of a flavor, right? The one problem the game has immediately that I'll tell you is it goes for this faithful rec uh, recreation of these old style games. Now, actually, faithfully, it would be one bit. Um, but we're going to go with two bit because I like the color depth. Um, bit, of course, is just like how many colors exist. Um, one bit means there is... Well, one color, which we're going to call white in this case, but you could change that, right? It depends on what your palette is. Um, back when I played on the Apple II, the main color was green, and a lack of color is color zero, which is black. And that's how you built everything, just like this. And you can see, using dots, you, you can pretty easily add a lot of depth. Very cool. Two-bit... This is just adding another color. So we now have three colors instead of two. Uh, 
I really like the look. I really like the depth this gives. It's pro it's not as faithful as going one bit, but I think we're going to do it anyway because I like the look of it personally. Um, and you know, I I play a lot of shitty games, and if I can play a game that that looks like a little less shit, I will. Um, graphics certainly don't mean anything to me, but if I have the option, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we can also change the color palette, which I love. Um, nope. This is pretty close to what Mac Ventures were, um, but it was actually like a bright green. Uh, still not this. It was like a very nasty bright green. It's kind of weird they don't have it. I was kind of hoping for it, but I'm sure it would make everyone sick, so we won't. That's fine. Let's go all the way back. Kind of weird that you have to click all the way back through and there isn't like, like a slider I think would have been cooler here. That's okay. Got our two bit, let's continue. So, pardon me. This is your first time playing World of Horror, technically, yeah. I recommend you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors. Option for trying more complex playthroughs. Uh, I think this game's kind of a roguelike. I don't know to what extent. Um, but I believe it is, like, run-based. Um, so let's go ahead and do the spine-chilling thing. I think I'm this lady here. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Like, this is super fun, right? An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. So I like the idea that our character is kind of like a paranormal investigator of sorts. Um, who knows our relation to other people, but like we've come into this like forewarned, right? Like we're aware, maybe everybody else isn't. Oh no, we're this guy here, sorry. I thought we were that lady. The story so far. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a race against time can't rest until our town is safe. Let's go ahead and start the mystery. Yeah. Combat tutorial on, please. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it, a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. Snick, 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 snick. Uh, many of you will know that one of my favorite horror games of all time, and in fact is a Japanese horror game, is Clock Tower on the uh, Super Nintendo. I think it's sort of the, the epitome of like a perfect horror game. Um, there's certainly a few issues with it, but it's short, it's sweet, and it's, it's distilled down partially because of the drawbacks of having an old system. To, to like a very pure experience. Love it. And I think Scissor Man is a great little character. So I'm all down with scissors. They're kind of fun, they're creepy. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back to where she belongs, he claimed. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? I'm surprised I didn't stutter or trip on any of my words. I'm pretty stressed today, so... 
Um, you know, I stutter quite often, but somehow I, I miss all this. That was pretty cool. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form into our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an elder's sigil, then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Um, so again, music, great. Atmosphere, great. Pictures, great. The story, it's fun. It's like, you know, I got a little creepy pasta here. I kind of enjoy that, right? You can, uh, in the options menu here, stretch the screen. You can do this. Do we like this more? Realistically, um, I feel like if I do... Uh, what does this do? Oh my god. That's kind of cute with the little window. Uh, no. I feel like if I, if I do this, it's going to be easier for you to read stuff on your end. Right? Um, but realistically, how many of you are trying to read text on the screen as opposed to sort of... You just have it in the background, you're looking at the visuals and you're listening to my voice. I feel like that's more so how we're experiencing this, right? Um, and to that end, I kind of feel like this this adds a little something, right? Like it kind of like pops it back. Yeah, <laughs> slight quills and yanks. I was pretty sure, right? I kind of feel like this adds a lot more sort of like fun theme to that. Uh, but let me know if you prefer one way or the other. It doesn't bother me. Uh, display extra maths. Wait, full screen border type B, A. Ah, oh, that's okay. One second, sorry. Kaylin's just screaming at the cat. You're studying right now? No, oh, rip. One sec. Yeah, well, so Kiki's all healed now from her surgery, and we've got her stitches out, and she's finally got to the point where we can take her collar off, her, her cone of shame. Um, so now that we've done that, she's gone from sad and docile to I have three weeks worth of energy that I want to burn, and we have very active cats. So she is literally, like, kick-flipping off everything in the house. Like, she's fucked. <laughs> So, Kaylin's just getting upset. Extra UI information? I'm going to leave it off. Um, I feel like this is one of those games I, I want to know less. Um, but the more I play, I'll probably end up turning this on so we can play on higher difficulties. But I, I kind of like enjoying more the narrative. Uh, and I think we're going to leave it like this for the uh, the full screen. Unless somebody else says they... What? Oh, I died. Whoops. I I thought when it said exit menu, it meant exit the menu, not exit to menu. That's okay. I, we're back. I assume this is the tutorial, so this should all be the same. Uh, combat tutorials on, please. Okay. This is where we left off, anyway. So let's see here. We got access your storage. I have my friend's diary. That could be useful. This is great. This is like a little Cthulhu figure. I like that. Um, or Kulu, as they say. So, a range... No, a strange tall woman has been following me all day. I just... Uh, I think it says I... J I'm, oh, I must hurry up. Sorry. Um, that was on the 17th. Oh, sorry. It's written in Japanese, so I need to go backwards. This actually, uh, I spoilered myself back in the day. Um, I was reading Shaman King, which was the first manga I ever owned. And I opened the last page first. 
Didn't know any difference. I was a dumb kid. Right? RIP! I'll never get that back. Uh, but it's alright. I read some more of the series, so... Not too bad. <laughs> Not saying Shaman King's like an amazing series and you should read it. It was just the first manga I ever came across. Maru's acting strange. I need to talk to her after class. Talk with her, sorry. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. And then the strange woman was following him. And this sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines. Um, Is this a game where I have to write stuff down? Probably not. I will tell you, um, from Mac Ventures times, when you play Deja Vu, um, I never beat the game, so maybe I'm a, a filthy liar, but I certainly got further when I wrote stuff down. But we'll try and remember this. Line, line, but it's kind of a crooked, it's a plus and a, okay. Let's inspect it. Okay, the other pages are irrelevant. We can put our friend's diary away, presumably. Or not. No, I, I can't. Okay, I thought maybe I could... I don't need it anymore, so... Okay, let's explore the school. Perform the ritual. We're not ready for that. Or check out the school lockers. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of thought we'd see the sigil on one of these. Um. Okay, there's just... Three lockers we can interact with? Okay, only the ones that are marked. You need a tiny key to open this locker, okay? You found a wooden bat... Don't mind if I do. Can I equip that? Okay, equipment slot A. It's blunt, two-handed, and str... I guess that means, like, strength damage. Uh, damage 4 plus, speed 8 plus, and chance to hit 70 plus. If I had to make a rough guesstimation, pluses mean it's better than my current stats for an item. Uh, so I will equip in slot A. Okay. I wonder if B's by their hand and slot A is A and B, but I don't know. Oh. What the fuck is that? Get out of here, Satan. We've got a job to do. Let's look at our stats, too, actually. 17 stamina and 16... I guess, like, uh, reason? I don't know why it's not sand. Um, and these icons are directly ripped from the Arkham... Uh, horror and Eldritch Horror and that whole spin-off of, of games from um, Fantasy Flight. I know what you're saying. That's just a heart and a brain. That's not copyright. No, I know, but if you played any of these games, which have been around for, you know, a good uh, many, many, many years, um, yeah, you'd, you'd recognize these right away. Uh, strength 7, Dexterity 5, Perception... Maybe personality. I don't know. I'm going to say probably perception in an investigative game. Knowledge. Okay. Charisma and endurance. F no, wait. It's fund. Fund. Find? Funds. Maybe funds. That's our money. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing. And then doom of eight is zero percent, which is good. Any spells? No spells. Any status? Oh wait, no, I have a cauterized spell. We don't need to be casting that. Okay, let's go explore the school, shall we? Nice! Okay. <laughs> As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. So if we had the anatomy class perk, I could... Okay, presumably this is like, I'm going like, oh, that doesn't look like a person, or it does look like a person, I don't know. But we don't have that, so we have to come closer. Against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white, half-eaten corpse. I feel like something horrible is happening within the school. No oh, shit. You must hurry and find those items. Uh, um, let's keep exploring the school, I guess. I love how the game's like 1980X, but oh, I saw you. Oh, hello. Ah, we found an additional page. From your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. 
Okay. Well, we can peek outside. Oh, fuck. To open the door, click on the handle and drag with the mouse. Oop. Yep. Yep. Hello. Hey. Shouldn't risk that again. Okay. Jokes. But, yeah, it was 1980X, but it's clearly 1984 here, so I don't get the point. You enter the damp-smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Huh? Swimming board in the middle of the pool. Okay. Could it be what you were looking for? Enter the water. Enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. Aha! The bloated teacher. Nice. Okay, already this game has a lot going on. Alright, so during each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. E. It's done. Done. Where is that? Down here. No? It looks, it looks like it's down here. But that has like a symbol like that, and that's uh, this. I'm assuming this is what it's referring to, though. I don't, I don't know what the fuck the symbol's on it, though. Okay. Once you've filled the sequence bar C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Well, that doesn't say what A or D do, but they're listed there. Very odd. Okay, so I can kick. Which is attack without a weapon. Time needed 55 time units. Hmm. Two damage for 55 time and have a chance of a hit of 80. Okay. Um, I can't hit with my bat. Okay, so I guess I just kick him a bunch. Okay. Offensive actions, current time multiplier one times, lower multiplier means that actions will take less time. Okay. Okay, launch. I'm not sure if I hit him. Oh, I did, okay. I punched and I kicked him. For some damage. I think I hit him twice. He attacked me. The bat is equipped already. Yeah, but it wasn't letting me use it. But now, now I can. I see. I have new options here. Yeah, just jump right in. Yeah, what the fuck? But so the weird thing about this, this could be like a already like a minor complaint, and I don't like being that guy. But um, I feel like when you hit, there should be like a sound effect, or maybe that was the sound effect that little took. But I, I would like, I don't know, like a little graphic or something, and like a little... <coughs> is that that kind of like flew out, and I'm like, did I hit the guy? But I guess he's down to 10 HP. And he deals 2 sam stamina every... Se okay, so he does 2 damage to me after every turn. And he's... The stat defines your chance to successfully attack the enemy. The higher the power, the harder it will be. Hmm. Okay. So now I can open my support actions. And I can look for an improvised weapon. But that uses 120 time. Hmm, or... I mean, that's what the tutorial wants me to do. But I already have the bat. Okay, I guess we'll do it. We're doing the tutorial, right? So let's look for an improvised weapon. Um, and then also, let's, oh, the bat has a fuck all chance to hit. Okay, well, let's just kick him. What else do we have? Prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Oh. Or a strong attack. Okay, so prepare attack and strong attack. That's a, that's a combo.
Your next attack has an additional 10% chance to hit. Oh, hang on. Okay, so let's look for our improvised weapon. And then we need... So, say 60 time units. Okay. We boost. So now we have a 100% chance to hit, and we give him a big old kick in the face. I, I, okay, I, I hit him. Just not a lot of context there. Yeah, I also, I'm afraid to know what the UI plus adds. There's like a million things happening. Um, I'm bloated, I guess, now. Look, a new item has appeared in your upper right corner. That's your inventory. Loaded. That's my new item. Something is moving inside your stomach. Oh, That can't be good. Well, he emerges from the water and he forces a piece of his rancid meat into your mouth. Mm. Okay. Click it? Well, I assume I have to get back to my inventory. I don't know if I was supposed to get bloated. But hang on. A branch. It is fast to equip. Let's just do the tutorial. But we will... And the branch is just worse than just kicking. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Because it has a 60% chance, so it's 20% less chance to hit. For only one more damage, but also it's much slower. Yeah, I got Prognate. How is bad be formed anyway? He's 69, dude. So I think the plan is you prepare your attack, you do the strong attack. Oh fuck. Uh, and then you would attack boost and then try and smack, uh, kick him. Oh, I can't even do that. So that's the strong attack, and then can't kick, can't attack. Fuck, I don't know. I guess the greedy thing is attack boost, attack, attack boost, strong attack. So I have a 70% chance to hit with both these. I, I hit and I missed. Yeah, he's, he's hiding. Oh, and right click deletes the last combat move. Okay, so we're already basically dead. Because uh, I think we started with, what, 17 health? So that's not good. Um, 5 health. So we need a kick to hit, which that probably will. It deals 3, right? Oh yeah, okay, we can make this work. So that's 100% um, chance for 2 damage. 100% chance for... Um, three damage. Nice. Okay. Combat's a little weird. My, uh, my horror investigative game. You found the blessed, ch uh, let's use the wooden bat. But anyway. Found the blessed chalk, in which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You can copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. Well, that's not the sigil. What news is that? Oh. No, that is not the correct sigil. Oh. Okay, hang on. No, it was like... Yeah, it was like a square. Ah, no, because this one was technically at an angle. I think this is supposed to be close. Okay. That's cool. I like this part, actually. That was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and equip my bat. Fuck this branch. Um, we have the candles. Is that all we needed? The candles and the sigil. I think so. We never found that key. The ritual's not ready. Oh, no. We just found the chalk. Right. We gotta keep exploring. We need to find the candles. 
You carefully entered the biology classroom. The room seemed empty at first until you switched the lights on. You gasp in horror. Lying in a pool of blood is one of the teachers with a fruit knife in their hand. There's a jar of formaldehyde on the nearest table. Mesmerized by the spiral pattern on the sea creature's skin, you step over the dead body and come closer. And then the voices start. Obviously spiral patterns, uh, it's very Ito. What in the shirt is that? Just, just kick it off the desk. What's it going to do? Wow. Okay. Oh, this thing does reason damage, though. Okay, cool. So we, we have tons of sanity in the tank, which is good. And uh, has 14 health, which is not good. But our bat does four if we hit. So I think what we do... What's this look like? Oh, that's pretty good. So we can do 280s, or we could probably do 370s, right? 92. Or we could do... Is that a little spicy? I like that. So an 80% chance of 6 and an 80% chance of 4. Bow! Bow! I missed. Okay, that's fine. We got this. Uh, actually, the kick's got a better chance, so what we're going to do is... We'll do 3, so that's like 90% chance now. And a 90% chance on the kick. I guess we'll make this a 100% chance. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah! Ow! Wait, what's that? Pick it up. A lump of flesh. Eat it! The sound of scissors is getting louder. Must hurry. Well, I can actually eat, eat this for 5 stamina, but it adds a new status. But where are... We already got something in our tummy, so it's probably okay. Inspect. Slimy and smelly. What is it? It's pulsating slowly in your hand. Crap. Let's uh, explore the school some more. Can't until you birth the baby. Not the baby. Oh, no. A tall woman with an unsettling face and a twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new bi 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 biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Sure. Why not? Luck check. Success. Do we have luck as a stat? I don't, I don't see that. The creepy substitute teacher hands you some kind of old books to carry. Among the mundane titles, you find one called Extinction of Mankind. It's bound in an unknown leather. You shudder, feeling the teacher's gaze on your back. Plus five experience. Hey, we found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. I don't know where we found my friend's backpack, but whatever. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Do it up. Wait, what's that? What? Ah! The fuck kind of ghost uses the door? Oh no. Take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected by a wide smile. Now is your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It is also your only chance. Twitching, twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Teeth for days, boys. Okay, so she deals two damage to our health and our reason. Uh, which means we die in five turns? Not a problem. We're pro strats. And she lowers our chance to hit because she is much more powerful than we could have possibly imagined. Uh, so we, we had a pro strat here, right? So that makes this a 74. Pretty good. 274s and that's 10 damage and that's half her health? Yeah, I think so, right? Okay, we missed both. Okay. That's fine. 
I mean, I think you did do it twice, right? Like, this should realistically hit it. She stabbed us. We missed both again. Oh. That's how the video games are gonna go. Uh, okay. Well, I guess... I mean, we need the big hit to hit. Fuck, we need them both to hit, though, really. I think you just gotta do it again. Okay, six. Minus four. Okay, she's half health. We got, we got two more turns left. We're cool. We're chill. We got this. We're gravy, baby. Missed. Okay, we hit for four. Am I... Frozen and Fury watches. She gets closer. Sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you. Am I beautiful? I died. I thought I had an extra health. I don't know how I died there. Your health dropped too low. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Huh? I had one health. Well, anyway. I guess we learned how to play. I don't really understand that, though. I guess, I guess it... So if you... If you go... If you go below zero, you die. But if you get low, you lose. That's weird, right? Am I crazy? That seems kind of weird. Alright, anyway. We got this. Extracurricular activity. Nice. Standard game. Without worrying about the in-depth stuff. No, no, we're not doing that. What's this? Easy, normal, hard, normal. Okay. I don't know. This, I don't think that's me, or is it? Something strange is happening in our town. Oh, we saw this. The old gods. Ah. Okay. Alexandria, 48 BC. The supposed cause of the destruction of the Library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue, has recently been rediscovered and is currently awaiting, currently waiting in the museum of our town for its premiere. Old gods rule. Both you and your enemies deal extra damage. That's okay. Backstory. World of horror. Character exclusive perk cards only. First time playing? Uh, technically it's not. I guess we'll click here anyway. Hi. Welcome and thank you for trying the World of Horror. Inspired by adventure games from the 80s? Yeah. Visual overload may be a little disorienting in the beginning. In this short... Wait, there's two tutorials? Eh? Do my best to explain various elements and prepare you to fight the horrible old gods. Owl. Creator of the game. Or maybe Pavel. This is the main game screen. Here you'll interact with your surroundings, solve mysteries, fight enemies. That's the... This is weird. Why is there a, like a tutorial on the user interface in the actual game, but not in the tutorial? Yeah. Uh, inventory spells. Yeah. It's you. Six basic stats. Strength, dexterity, perception, knowledge, charisma, and... Oh, it is funds. Okay, cool. So we don't have a luck stat, so it was just random. That's your inventory. You can keep up the four items. Okay. Click here to inspect, use, or equip anything you pick up. For equipment slots, equipped items do not count towards the four item limit. A is for weapons. Oh, okay. One or two handed. Alright. And then B and C are trinkets and armor. Okay. As you progress with your playthrough, more helpful tips will appear. Would you like to try to turn the combat? No, I don't want a combat tutorial. Okay. So, boom, we're in the game. We can go to our home or the lighthouse. Let's go home. Check your mailbox, it's empty. Back in your home, you think of your next move. You're not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. And open a drawer. And close it. Alright. We can move the curtain. It's a nice day outside, sure. Let's close that shit. Okay, the light switch does nothing. It leaves something to charge here. That's cool. 
Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping there's something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want, but where? Your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Oh, that's cool. What else can I do here? You can watch TV. Local dentist has been found guilty of implanting dog teeth on human patients. What? Nice. But it is currently unknown. Can I change the channel? Oh, this is my phone? Take a bath? Shower will help you calm down and do wonders for your sore muscles. What temperature would you set it on? Cold water, gain extra reason. Uh, warm water for an XP boost, or hot water for stamina regained. Let's get a small XP boost. Uh, change our clothes? Nice! Same for a mirror, wondering which outfit to wear. It's a nice movie poster. Good. Okay, so I can be the captain. I can be the teacher's pet. The gym clothes. Or the Sacaline. Sacaline. I mean, this is pretty radical, right? I think let's just stick with the classic. I don't know if these match up, though, but whatever. Uh, we can peek through the peephole. Someone's standing in the shadows watching your door. Go to town, story, or we can save if we solve a mystery. Okay, cool. Let's try and solve a mystery. The eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Nice. The chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. The macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. The Rotten Report of Rancid Ramen. Or the Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival. Um... I mean, ramen sounds fun, right? Rancid Ramen. Out of thin air, brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by- that's a nipple. Oh, and a little finger. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You're determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? To advance, advance this mystery, investigate the circled location. As you progress, the location and the rules may change. So, Dumpster Dive. We have to discard two item cards to complete this quest. Okay. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. Food critic has a manic, manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. Disgusting! Yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to go to the apartments. Uh, but I guess we probably would, right? Let's go. Investigate. Oh, wait, neighbor? Wait, what? This. Oh. Oh, I see. What's this? Bad decisions, like running from enemies and reading cult books, can raise the location's threat level, making it more dangerous to explore in the future. That's neat. So we can go to the police station to manage combat encounters and trade experience for funds. I can shop for items from a dog, it looks like. I could potentially um, get an ally by um, meeting a neighbor. But it would give me Doom. Which, um, again, the Arkham Horror um, and, and following board games, Doom is like your ticker, and when you hit 100%, you lose. Hardware store sounds pretty good, too. 
Okay, well, let's... Uh, maybe let's meet our neighbor. Right? Knock on your friend's door and wait. Huh? Anna's not home. I should check on her later. It did not cost me any doom to enter. So, that's fine. Let's investigate the apartments then. You are now doomed. Heavy metal music intensifies? Yeah. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend... Uh, what the fuck that escalated? You discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin, a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Prisma check failure. Intimidated by the unsettling painting, you're haunted by nightmares. Okay. Just like a... A cool skill check we got there. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. I guess I'm just doing this in someone else's apartment, because I'm not in my home. I'm very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Um, well, if you say a cold bath's good, let's do it. Oh, strength check failure. Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath, and you feel a cold coming on. Minus two stamina. Hmm. Okay. A wired preacher. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? Day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. Definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts on an accent on real. Hello? You still there? Let's hang up. Put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did an odd man call today? Oh, now, now we have to go to downtown. Well, let, let's see if our um, neighbor's in. Oh, Canna's not home. Okay. Um, let's shop for some items, maybe. Wow, the doom went up 4%. Fuck. Hey, doggy. Two additional... Okay, so two additional inventory slots seems pretty good. A steak knife, though. Or a compass. Let's do experience for each investigated location. I think the steak knife's... Oh, okay, you can buy one item. You stand in line for hours. Your questions fall in deaf ears. Shun. Well, let's uh, go ahead and equip that anyway. Right, investigate the downtown. Wow! Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder, who's been preparing your food for the past week? That's kind of weird. We call the police. And let's research the occult notes. Reading the ramblings of a madman has made you sick. We've lost like half our fucking health in, in the sand already. So that's good. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the park. You can cast one spell without paying anything. Um, I don't have any spells. Okay. This game seems like it's very RNG. Like, in a bad way. While well, you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Now that's just fan service. What's happening? Reception check success. They stole your wallet. You quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Some fat XP. Yeah, 22 XP. I guess that's good. Oh, you don't have enough experience. Never mind. <laughs> it's not good. It's no good. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. Looks like someone, or something, tore out his throat. Steal his gun! I mean, guns are very illegal in Japan. I don't feel like that's a... that's a good call. <laughs> or we could check his wounds for clues. Um, now, our character's pretty dumb, right? Like, five knowledge, as opposed to, like, we have eight in dexterity. So I'd say we're dexterous, but dumb. So she's kind of, like, cool biker chick, right? So, uh, maybe steal the gun? Or 
We're gonna steal the gun. You won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. We're just tanking our reason, boys. We have a police revolver now. The slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out. Without tasting the weird dish. So it only deals three damage. Oh wait, nine... Oh, it's nine damage if I shoot it? But three damage if I, like, bap somebody with it. Huh? I'm gonna sell it for five bucks, too. I guess that's kind of nice. Let's investigate the lab. Pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Oh, we didn't find anything. So just a vial of ramen soup, please. A mere day later, your friend rings to your door. Face is pale and in a shaking hand, she holds you an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts. Well, they couldn't identify some of the particles. They did discover a highly addictive drug in the broth. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, police and officials stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that was the end of it, but snippets and newspapers from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new ramen restaurant opening up and its mysterious owner keep showing up. You no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. Oh, okay. That's not bad, we won! There's something wrong with tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. I hope it's just a temporary issue. Oh, so we probably can't uh, take a bath anymore. It's the lighthouse. The ominous lighthouse is being closed down for longer than you can remember. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. Uh, I wonder if you stop that, like if I had to stop that mystery, if I would have got a key. Oh, inside your mailbox you find a small key. What are you doing here? Maybe not. Okay. Um, fucking pitch black out. Nice. Let's go ahead and look through the people. That guy's still there. Take a bath. Still don't fix the water problem. It is black and oily and glistening. No way you're gonna wash yourself in that. Fuck. That's shitty. Because we're, um... Yeah, you can't regain health in between mysteries. Well, we're fucked. Well, just our reason, really. That's fine. We can brute force some shit. Watch the TV. TV host is gutting a big octopus. That's what she claims, because there's way too many tentacles. Nice. Alright, well I guess we start a new mystery? Activate sewage and water treatment options? Yeah. BP oil did it again, love it. Okay. Well, let's go for, um... The macabre memoir of the morbid mermaids. The janitor was obsessed with mermaids. He's collected every scrap of the legend about them in the school basement. Now his mind is snapped. He's decided it's time to make one of his own, using the bodies of unfortunate students as materials. What? That's fucked. That's fun. Could there be anything connecting all the missing people? I should investigate downtown next. Well, they already told us what happened. One thing everyone at school is talking about, another girl from your area has gone missing. Um, I, we probably want like a new item too, right? Like oh, we only got two bucks. That's fine. We got a backpack, some cigarettes. Plus one reason could be pretty good, but it adds a new status. Or you buy the surprise discount item. Yeah, fuck yeah. Empty bottle. That could be good. That could be cool. We could be, like store some eat neat stuff. Okay. Um, should we see if our neighbor's home? Maybe not. Where do we have to go? Downtown. Alright, we're already here. Let's investigate. 
road seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. We don't have a map, so we have to get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind. Oh, now we gotta go to school. Okay, so we can trade Doom for spells at the library. Or let's go to the schoolyard. Hey. It's the latest gossip. Did you hear there's a cliff nearby? It was strangely sh Yeah, okay, that's the... Um, what is it, Amigara Fault? Or the mystery of the Amigara Fault. Can you join us? Haha, <laughs> you were always such a kidder. Observe. Doi is reading a horror manga about spirals. They look fine. The fuck? I can knife somebody? I don't know about that. It's Leah's gossip. She hasn't come to school since last week. Join me. Nice! It sounds strange, but I believe you. Cool, we got student B. She gives us cheaper pharmacy items. Doing your English exam. Oh. We're staring at the clouds. They look like heads. They seem relaxed. Recently, the tap water in my entire neighborhood started tasting weird. Almost like... Yeah, join us, dude. Nice! He's plus one dexterity, so we can run like a motherfucker. That's about it, though. Okay, cool. We got some friends. We go to the library and learn about spells? No, because our character sucks at reason. We're a fighter, not a smarter. Ah, oh, this is super fun. Here, hold this knife, yeah. This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. We got this. Slowly you enter the unknown. Lost in time and space, you drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. Uh oh. Temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply. Feeling your chest tighten and ache. Fingers and ears are already numb and freezing. You have to move. Let's move towards the pyramid. It calls to me. Strength check failure. Come on! Strength is something we, we do. Oh my god. We got fractured ribs and frostbite. Minus two. Okay, cool. So our character now fucking sucks. The one thing we were good at, we suck at. Frozen guard corpses watch you silently as you cut yourself on the razor sharp edges of the ice. Wow, really? That's it? Cool. I guess we keep investigating the school. Oh, a hospital. There's funds to heal injuries. We don't have any money, though, really. Yeah, this game's like just RNG, the game. Kept the. Catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. And yeah, we don't have art knowledge, so we have to take this. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Just lose health. We have to go to the morbid school. Alright. Nauseating stench stops you. Someone is scattered, rotting fish guts everywhere and hung up countless fish heads. You cover your mouth as you slowly retreat. A vast flock of seagulls outside viciously attack the windows. Someone has marked a path leading from the sea directly to the school building. Whoever the kidnapper may be, they seem to be really obsessed. Well, it's a janitor, right? That's what it said. Really obsessed with mermaids. Inside the science lab, you find a plan of the town's sewer system. A sudden blast of heat grabs your attention. An older man standing next to you screams in pain as he's engulfed in fire from seemingly nowhere. As other people start to panic and help the burn victim, you spot a hooded woman standing in the distance. She sees you, she starts to run. You can't shake off the feeling that you are the target of a supernatural attack. Let's get her. Hey, our dexterity worked out. The hooded woman disappears behind a corner, and when you get there, she's gone, already mixed in the crowd. 
In a nearby dumpster, you find a sulfur stinking hoodie and an envelope containing your photo. A curious, curious incantation. Yotho to Flame. Seven damage and doom, and it costs us region, reason and stamina. Yikes. Probably. Oh, we can forget this spell for plus one reason. We'll hang on to it, but we're probably going to have to do that. This part is way better than the combat is, Yanks. Yeah. The only problem is it's just like click thing, get event. Event is just complete arbitrary RNG. So, eh. I do want to play um, L.A. Noir at some point. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Threat level increases. Okay. We gotta go to the school again. School basement. That must be the place the kidnapper is keeping the missing swimmers. Here's the sewer playing with the school map and it suddenly dawns on you. It's so... Okay, this is tripping me out. So, when we read the guy's journal, it goes right to left. But I'm supposed to read these events left to right? Because this one comes from... I'm supposed to read this and then this. But then why am I writing in my journal left to right? But everyone else writes right to left? The fuck? Like, am I Japanese or am I not Japanese? Like, I, d I don't mind either way. I Like, I love the flavor, but if you're going to, like, do that, be consistent. Because, again, like, I just read this backwards, which I was like, huh? Also, this game has, like, a lot of text in weird spots. Like, I'd never read down here, because fuck that. It's just too much going on. All right, let's keep, keep exploring. The anatomy class. And it's just... This event comes up minus one health. It's fine. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. Sight makes you sick. Minus one stamina. There's no turning back now. God, let's hope she's alright. Look, we are already like three kinds of fucked up. Let's equip the gun. Right? We're gonna shoot this guy. Just bah, bah. Okay, investigate. School basement. Oh no. You burst through the door of the janitorial closet, but it's already too late. The latest missing girl is lying on a dirty mattress. The upper part, at least. The tail of a fish has been crudely sewed in place of her legs. She was just too weak and died, you hear the mad janitor say. Looks up you up and down. Maybe you'll do. Oh, there's like something here we didn't get. That's okay. Stepping carefully over a corpse, the janitor picks up the bloody axe. I should have shot him before he got close to the axe. But that's fine. You pull the gun's hammer back, preparing for combat. Wow, 35 fucking health? Um. Oh, we have an offensive multiplier. Things are making us attack faster, I guess. So it's a 70% chance to hit. You don't really want to miss with this. So where do you only do plus one damage? What? But I thought it said, oh, I was gonna say, I thought it said if I shoot, it dealt more damage. Okay. 10 damage, only 60% chance to hit though. Can't quite make them both 90s. So what you do, you make that a hundred, and then you pistol whip him for five. Cause we only got two shots. Bap! Okay, so we shot him there, but wow, fuck! Heals three, three health a hit. You've sustained a new injury, ringing ears. All combat actions are slower until the end of the current mystery. No, that that's fine. That's fine. Alright, fuck. Let's pap this son of a bitch. Ha! 
Okay, he's got six health left. We are fucking dying here, but... Throw our steak knife on. Don't have time to change the equipment. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I just need to deal six damage. So that's a hundred percent. That's eighty for fifty-five. Okay, this is the play. Hang on, it's yeah. Nice. Smash him. Bash him. Fireball does seven damage. Yeah, it's true. But this way, I didn't take any more health damage. We're out of bullet though. Bit of a problem. Nice, we got a fire axe though. Fucking A boy. Okay, so it's very slow, but it deals six damage. Uh, I mean, that seems good. You pick up his axe and using it as a crutch, you try to leave the room. Injured and weakened, you slowly lose consciousness on the school corridor. Friends are imaginary? No, they just give you plus one to a stat, kind of. Police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found. You'll sleep a little bit better knowing that the other students are safe. We got ending A. 30 XP, minus 3% doom. And we healed one stamina and one reason. Which turns out is not shit. Uh, and we still have no money. Oh, but we leveled up. Okay. You've advanced to the next level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Discipline, leadership, outdoorsman. I think discipline's kind of, like, it's not going to tell me what it does. Oh, regain one stamina for all past event skill checks. Damn. Plus one charisma. Could be good. Plus one luck. Tune with the natural rhythm of life. No, no. Discipline for sure. Because that's very much our lady. Like, she's a bad bitch. And... I think we want to get our strength up a little higher. I know we ended up tanking our strength. Oh, cool. And we get... Oh, we could heal four stamina or we could get plus one strength. Let's get plus one strength. Because if we complete more checks, um, we'll, we'll get more, like, stamina. Oh, gods. Weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Oh shit, I was gonna say, we need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Fuck! Um, that's fine. Let's go home. Small key. Okay, we're gonna change our clothes. We are, we are now a bad bitch. We don't care anymore. Can we take a bath? Oh my god, we're actually fucked. We are straight fucked. Going on through the people. Nothing. Okay. So wait, we can go to town without starting a mystery. It's kind of neat. Minor earthquake. In the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local scientists believe some of the corridors could be man-made. Start a new mystery here. Let's go for the... Uh... I guess reasons are best thing, so we probably want to do the far out fable of a fear festival. Sounds good. Your aunt has sent you a letter, inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years, small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree. You need a break from all the stress. Hey, original dice mom, how you doing? Thank you, by the way. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Everything. Today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone's waiting for you? It's my aunt! No, it's not. A fat man wearing dusty overalls, ah, it's just rude, <laughs> approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands. They're so deformed, they resemble claws more than hands. I've actually met people like that. 
How are you guys doing tonight? Hopefully pretty good. Oh, shit! Oh, that's... Uh, okay. Okay, so we don't get to go to the hospital. I probably fucked up, but I didn't realize this mystery would be different than other mysteries. And we would, um... Like, be jumped to a new town. That's really cool. I love that mechanic. Obviously, you know, uh, there was the option to go to the town before taking a mystery. I just didn't see why you would. But okay, that's kind of cool. We can check out the inn. So let's do that. Maybe we can heal up here. The inn's room is dusty and it hasn't seen any visitors in years. I wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of the available activities lying on the table. Um, okay, so we, onsen, I believe, is um, a food. Relax a bit sounds pretty good. Salutations. How goes your day? Days? Well, you know, life's a little weird right now, right? But, um... Yeah, hey, awesome. I'm glad. I, I just started playing this myself. It's pretty... It's, it's weird. I think... Um, like, the creator says they they were trying to do, like, an 80s adventure game. And I've played a lot of 80s adventure games. And I'll say it doesn't feel like any of them. What it does feel like, though, is a board game. Um, it, it just feels like there's a lot of, like, random events that happen. And just arbitrary dice rolls on them. Um, I think it's probably one of those games where the more you play, the less random it seems, if that makes sense. But it's hard to say right now. So I, I think we're going to order some food because we're really low on health. Oh, sorry, it's a hot spring. Finally can relax a bit and enjoy the warm water. Nice. And can we use our empty bottle and fill it here? Uh, no. I guess it's probably disrespectful to take out a bottle and fill it in a hot spring. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was a good idea. Uh, can we relax a bit? Okay, nice. Okay, so we did. We, we got a little bit of healing. It said it was a free action, but it looked like that passed the time. So we can enjoy the festival. Nighttime now. Or we could explore the weird village. Now, this is a little shitty because I feel like we've wasted time on this mystery. Um, instead of finding clues, we're jumping into this sort of a little... Mm. But I think we should go to the festival while we can. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Your stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling that something is wrong. It's getting late. Um, okay, so we could potentially get a few more allies. We still have some. That's cool. Uh, we're not very charismatic, so I think maybe funds are low. Let's just enjoy the festival. Let's go out drinking and carousing and stuff. A tabletop RPG? Okay, yes. Um, I like that. I'm going to modify that slightly, and I'm going to say this feels like a, um, a choose-your-own-adventure book. Um, but like the ones with dice combat. That's kind of what it really feels like, yeah. It's it's definitely enjoyable, and it it hits that like fun, spooky mystery feel that I love. Like, I mean, we've talked a million times about how much I love like Delta Green and Hulk Cthulhu and that kind of cool stuff. But let's uh, let's enjoy our festival a bit. Nice, I like it. There, there. Would you like to test your luck at this fine game? Can I afford two tickets? I don't have any money. Let's let's do two anyway. I'm sorry, you can't afford a raffle ticket. Well. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry. Today's goal. Learn more about the festival itself. Weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly, the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? I I'm pretty fast, so I don't know if this is going to be like a dex check, but I feel like I, I can outrun them. Even with my, uh, you know, busted up ribs and my frostbite. Play choose your own adventure books differently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can press Z to hide like clickable areas? Oh my god. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's like holding alt back in the day. Or, or smashing tab if you want to cheese at a uh, flash game. They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them in the forest or try to find more information about the festival? 
Oh, man. Uh, well, we want to go to the forest probably at night, right? So let's look in town. That advances the clock. I think we still explore the village. Zed, Canadian spotted? I am. I'm sorry. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze following your every movement. Minus two reason. Fuck off. Um, let's explore... It's evening, though. I'm going to explore the village again. I think we're too weak to jump into the um, forest. You had no idea that the funeral you'd been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to feed the deceased with their blood. That's kind of cool, actually. You see at the back, shocked by how grotesque it is. Suddenly, the guests turn their heads in the, your direction. It's your turn now. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. Um, I feel like... Okay, so let's talk. If I slash my hand here, I'd probably take, like, what, two stamina? I'm already really low on health, so that's not good. The fight's probably going to be worse for me, though, right? Although I'm pretty beastly. But that could just be a strength check, and my strength is kind of low right now. Um, let's, I guess, roll roll the dice here, right? Or, uh, I feel like if we do the tradition, though, like, we're not actually going to learn anything. Like, they're not going to accept us because we're following the tradition, so therefore we're, we're kind of already accepting of their ideas without asking. Florida's pretty rough, I will agree. I'm going to try and, um, let's see if we can talk them out of this. We failed. Mourners don't take no for an answer and forcibly draw your blood. Minus two stamina? Sure, that's fine. So it's nighttime. So let's pop in to the forest. You're investigating Welcome to the Rice Field? <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to say that, but it's cool. A sudden storm forces you to a shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Well, that's an elder sign. Uh, try to decipher them. Failed. What could it mean? Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. I wonder what's up with that. That's fine. So we need to fucking heal. Um, we need some health. Okay. I think we check out the forest. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Nice! Okay, the Bark Woman. I love it. 20 health, 2 damage to all. We are fucking dead. Um. Yeah, we're, we're just... We're just gonna die is what's gonna happen here. I mean, 3 swings is 21. Maybe not. Okay, 55. So we can... Uh-huh. So we got a 75% chance. Yeah. We have a 75% chance to deal 14 damage. Okay. I can work with that. I can work with that. So that's... Uh... Alright. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? Is that blood? Where is everybody? Oh god. Today's goal, find the missing people. Nah. Shit. Is it okay to suggest something? Um, okay, so I'm pretty chill about like the backseat stuff, but like I love solving puzzles. So if it's if it's like a game mechanic thing that you think is like very obtuse and I'm not going to get, sure. Um, if it's like something about the mystery or something like that, or um, the, the thing is like, I am going to die. Like we're, you, you don't beat your first run, right? And that's okay. Oh God. Oh, this is super fun. I love it. Like the two eyes and it's like, it's 
kind of a face. That's really cool. Four actions until sunrise. Are you guys walking in circles? Okay, we can go to the forest. We can rest at camp. I feel like we probably need to heal because we die in two hits, right? Um. Oh, wow. It's only plus one, plus one. Okay, let's keep exploring. Heat wave continues with record temperatures. Continuing your investigation takes more and more effort. Never mind. We're definitely going to have to rest. Rested a bit? Okay, so resting did nothing. Really? Okay, but it didn't take one of my actions. That's interesting. I think we're pretty freaking dead here. Parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. I'm gonna cut it open, fuck that. Cut the tree and quench your thirst with the dark red sap. Plus three stamina. Nice. Um, so, when I play one of these games, I like to get in the head of the character. I think this lady here is like, you know, shoot first, ask questions later. I feel like she, that's the play we are. We don't have any knowledge, really. I think five is probably a low number, I don't know. Um, so I'm, we're kind of going to take more aggressive actions this time. Hopefully we'll get another character later that's maybe got like higher knowledge and charisma and we can play like a different way. I think we rest anyway though. Okay. I know our doom is skyrocketing, but like, we were looking really rough. A suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual in the clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. So we don't have a ritual rope. Um, and our strength is kind of shit because we still have frostbite. But we succeeded. Got an extra stamina. Nice. We managed to see some of the faces and hear the names of the group. Here we go. An abandoned factory. This must be the place they took everyone. While exploring the factory, you were caught by masked people you've seen from the inn's window. Tied up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. Your raspy voice. Your aunt's voice! Coming from behind the priest's weird mask. It's kind of like... You know what I mean? Like, if... You know, you know, like, the main villain says, Oh, I knew you'd come. It's like, dude, you sent me a letter in the mail asking me to show up. It's kind of rude. You know? You, you didn't really plan anything. She signals towards the door behind him. What? Anyway. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. I will struggle... Oh, God. Okay, mucho thingo going on here. Uh, it looks very bad though. Uh oh. No. Oh, okay. He's kind of fun. Do I just die or do I get a chance to fight? With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears, and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. Last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights and the hand of a police officer saving you from fall. And that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual, blood, and eldritch being. The village is abandoned, with no trace of blood anywhere. You're the only one seeing the ancient horror. Oh. Well, you could catch the leader of the cult and to interrogate them. The people are safe. You board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. Oh. I kind of want to find out what the S ending for that was. So have you played uh, Arkham Horror or Eldritch Horror or any of the, uh, you know, I, I mean, um, I always forget what the, the, the Yahtzee game they have is. Mytho something? But any of the Fantasy Flight, like, sort of Cthulhu games? Because, uh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like, when you're riding that last Doom ticker, and you're like, oh boy. Roads leading out of the town were closed by the police. You'll have to find a new way out. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. As Doom progresses, Old God's influence will slowly corrupt and change this calm seaside town. All right. Well, I feel a lot better now. I think we actually came out of that ahead. Um, although our doom skyrocketed. But... What well, is our doom right now? 
41? I can handle it. Can we bath yet? No. But, maybe we can fill the bottle. Fill the bottle with something. Yeah, I, that's what I want to do. Hmm. I wanted to have, like, this weird bath liquid. <sighs> Let's look to the peephole. Still nothing. Okay. Just TV. Local dentist. Oh, we already saw this. Does the news do reruns? That's kind of weird, right? A new mystery. So, eerie episode of Evolving Eels, or the chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. Let's try the uh, the eels. That sounds kind of fun. The dev is a dentist and did the art name is paid. <laughs> He's a dentist in real life? That's kind of cool. Oh, neat. I mean, this art does look like MS Paint, but I mean, I'm, uh, sorry, this art looks really, 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 really good, but I mean, like, it is pixel art, so I wouldn't be surprised if I did an MS Paint. I know I didn't start using, like, a proper, like, art program until I was, like, I don't know, 20-something, right? Like, you can do a lot in paint, people would be surprised. The one thing you can't do, though, is... Um, get funky brushes, you know, but as long as you're just doing sort of like pixel stuff, no problem. Or turning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around. It's your friend living in the same apartment complex, Kana. We'd be in her house, and she wasn't there. That weird dude is back, you know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. A while later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? That weird fish... Did he... What weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. I saw a creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? Why would he be... Oh, okay. Let's go to the hospital. Also, let's sell our gun. Sell it for five bucks. Yeah. Okay, we're going to the hospital. Many sick people are waiting to get examined by the overworked hospital staff. You still have some time before you're asked in the office. So we can enter the doctor's office. Yeah. How can I help you today? Can you get rid of my frostbite, please? And my fractured rib. Perfect. And, while we're here... Yeah, I thought ichthyology was the study of uh, fish. So if we go to the pharmacy, we get cheaper pharmaceuticals. Uh, a sewing kit. Okay, so we can use this to heal three stamina. Get minus one charisma, which probably doesn't actually matter to us. The one minor injury. So I mean, I think we're gonna grab sewing kit. Oh, we're badly bruised. What was that? Minus one strength till the end of the current mystery. Yeah, that is fine. It's fine with us. We can discard this treatment. Yeah. At least now our stats are looking much better. Which is nice. I almost wonder, since we have some funds, if we don't just go to the... Um... Was it downtown? Ah, shop for items, yeah. I think we do this. Uh, when you say inspired by Junji Ito's art... Well, okay, it's kind of a, it's, you know what I mean? I would say borderline, um, I don't know, cause, 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 I don't know. You can't really say ripped off because the game's self-aware with it. It constantly references Junji Ito, um, like constantly. So yeah, like heavily influenced by, but it's also like 
saying it on the nose, like, yes, I'm aware of it, I like this, I'm... You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to say. Um, I will say... He definitely has the Junji Ito problem of all his characters look identical. Um, and that's okay. I like Junji Ito a lot. It's just like a lot of fun popcorn horror, you know what I mean? Really enjoy reading the books at night. Um, I've met Junji Ito myself. Um, not like personally, but I, I you know I met him um, at a um, like a book signing. He's he's signed Gyo for me. Very very nice guy. Uh, watched him do a talk. Super nervous, but what kind of artist isn't? Yeah, it was his first time in North America, and. Uh, this place in Toronto is like super cool, very big in the comics, and they managed to talk Junji Ito in the coming for just like um, every year they have like a a big comic convention and um, but like like comic comics uh, or like more like indie kind of comics I guess they do have mainstream comics but it's not like superhero stuff um, mainstream like a like a Sarah Grayley or whatever. I like the little borf in the soundtrack. But, uh, or like, you know, like Oni Press or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it was really cool, actually. Okay. I kind of love the idea here of buying the flashlight. I feel like flashlight's probably super useful. I also kind of like... I think it's flashlight. I think that's just a very handy thing to... To have. We already saw an event that we could have used that on, but I, I still feel like... There's probably other events we could use. Um, and we're not going to heal ourselves with the sewing kit right now. I know we could, but I feel like we hang on to it. Alright, let's go ahead and investigate the apartments. You're rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone is trying to get in. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's fair. I mean, we have seen this guy creeping up. The apartment stalker. He looks like Goof Troop or some shit. Uh, minus three stamina damage. Youch. 28 health, so we gotta hit him four times? Yeah. It's a little painful. A little painful. Okay. Um. Versus hitting him three times? with this yeah how do I kill this guy in two turns I don't that way or do I no. I think it is better to go for the 14 because we can get lucky here right well you guarantee hit and you like pray that you hit on the 75 it's probably gonna take us three turns to kill this guy. This is rough. Alright, let's get in there. Okay. Okay. Still got a chance. We don't know if we'll get knocked out at two stamina or not. And we got a concussion from him. He bashed us in the head with a baseball bat. No, that's, that's no problem. There's a chance. There's a chance. Right? There's already f over 450 custom events in mods on the Discord. That's awesome. Actually. I love that. Eh, okay, we missed. We're not down. We're not down and out. That's all that matters. Bam. Pick it up. Got another baseball bat. Well, not another. I guess that was in the, the tutorial we got that. And a dude's working at school, right? We can break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? Hannah, um, I just had a guy take a baseball bat to my fucking head. Alright, not feeling great. I don't know how you're feeling. Uh, the baseball bat, though, we're going to go ahead and sell for one dollar. Yeah, we're going to fucking sell it. We can go to the hospital and buy two more heal items. I kind of feel like that's the way to be. 
We can just tank our charisma and buy more sewing kits. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of love it. It's fine. We got scars. We don't need charisma at this point, right? What do you got? Running shoes? Smaller doom penalty from running... You can run from combat? Oh, cool. Faster offensive options. Yes. More strength, please. All of this is good. See, now we're starting to... Let's get physical. I think I kind of want to buy another... Um... I know we tank our doom here, but I think we grab another sewing kit. Okay. I know our charisma kind of really sucks, but now we're feeling like very comfortable with our health. Okay, let's investigate school. Uh, we're not going to be able to recruit anyone in the school yard, so let's not even worry about it. Scars make you look cool anyway? It does, it's true. Hearing footsteps behind you as you. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize. Okay, you need like a semicolon. You are not the only one here. So many used. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. The young witch. Minus four to all damage. Oh my god. But we attack faster now, right? Much faster. Holy shit. Much faster. Holy god. We're too powerful. What's that? A steak knife. I don't care. The neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Ken decides to take one jar home. Have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip her soda so calmly, staring at this creepy creature? Yeah, I've, I've seen uh, sea monkeys before. I guess we don't have to sell this. Okay, so... Okay, let's try investigating the seaside and just beelining for the main quest. Let's see if we can't learn more about these fish. Can we even travel to the seaside? Yes, okay, sorry. What does the hardware store do? Probably some good shit in here, actually. Let's go to the seaside. Something pulls you towards the beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. Definitely going to take it home. <laughs> statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. Neighbor's office at school was empty. You did find a few jars, all filled with weird eel-like fish. Despite your protests, Canada decides to take one jar home. Let's keep investigating the seaside. You do wield knives? No, you only have one um, inventory slot for weapons. Suddenly, the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Now, we don't have the arcane grasp, so let's brace you. Although, we can cast fireball, so. Strength chest success! Nice! So, we got a stamina back for that. Sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. Leave the beach quickly. You may be going crazy, but you can swear something is watching you from the sea. Let's um, continue investigating the apartments. You stop by home to pick up your lunch. You find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Let's read them. We failed our luck check. Staying up late investigating the current case has really increased your electricity bill. Jokes. We were broke anyway. I've seen him some bur burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go check it out. Is this eel even a lot? Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. We failed our dex check. Really? We failed it on a 9? Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens, and an unknown invader tries to look inside. You lurch back in shock. The man sees you and tries to get in, screaming curses the whole time. 
Neighbor calls the police and the attacker escapes from your apartment building. Kenna was right. Someone tried to burn some papers. You must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. Both return to your apartment and try to decipher the notes. Hopefully this guy tries to like fight me straight up and doesn't try to get in my head. Cause Oh, cool. Okay. Inspect. Oh, I thought I got to build it. Legend from the Refecture Eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all vis visitors and dump their corpses in a lake full of eels. That's so weird. Neighbor really was in the eels, it seems. You begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with. Bad time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Our company, fortunately, specializes in cases like yours. I will gladly help you get back on track, after all. He takes a step closer, and you can swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Fondest memory experience? Peace of mind, probably reason, jar of blood, stamina. I'm going to say experience, and we can sacrifice that. Okay, that was reason. Oh, shit. Everything suddenly gets dark. You feel sad, but you can't tell why. In your pocket, you find an envelope with cash inside. Uh, and we are fucked. Okay, we have to investigate the seaside. Where, the, where would we heal sanity? Hmm. Resting at home, but we can't rest because there's, um, the water's all fucked up. It's not great. Not great. Feeling like you're on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your friend's old friend. Your parent's old friend. Father Yasu Yasugi? Y Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest, who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Can you lend me some hand? I gotta lift the heaviest fucking box. I'm strong as shit. I'm strong like ox. Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasugi invites you in for a hot cup of tea and some home-baked cookies made for one of the parishioners. Explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety. Yeah. And tell you something about the rest of home option? Yeah, go for it. Think about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into the neighbor's apartment. You go to sleep. Oh, we don't have Kana over. I feel like she's oh she's got to be dead, right? You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? She's dead. <sighs> Do we bust into her apartment? Right, hang on. Anna's not home. I should check on her later. Fuck. She's dead. It isn't reliant upon having access to the bath. Oh, really? Okay. 